guys, welcome back to my channel. Before I get started, um, I decided to run my dishwasher right before I started filming this video, so you can probably hear in the background, I'm really sorry, it's very loud. But today I wanted to talk about some books that I recently got that I saw other booktubers talking about. So they're kind of like, I don't know what I'm gonna title this video exactly, but like I just watched booktubers talk about these books and then I decided to buy them. And I have not, have I read any of them yet? I'm currently reading one, um, but I also wanna like make a later video and say what I think about them and if they're like worth the recommendation, you know? So I'm gonna get started. With the one that I'm currently reading, I'm currently reading The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton. Turton? This, I also only watch like three or four booktubers. This was recommended by Reagan from Per Use Project. I'm exactly halfway through. This is kind of like a psychological mystery murder in a mansion kind of novel where our main character, Eden Bishop, finds himself waking up in a different body every day, trying to find out who kills Evelyn Hardcastle. He has eight bodies to go through, and there's like time travel kind of. It's really insane. I'm still very confused and trying to figure out what's going on, so I don't have all the answers about what this is about because I'm still confused. But so far, so good. I'm looking forward to finishing this and kind of solving the mystery. It does very much remind me of Knives Out, the new movie that came out recently. Maybe it's new. I just saw it and it was really good. You're just confused the whole time. So, so far it was a good recommendation because I am really enjoying it. Next is Her Body and Other Parties by Carmen Maria Machado, which she wrote in the Dream House, I believe, which has been so highly talked about. But this is a collection of her short stories. I think it's all about like self-love and like your body, obviously. Um, I've heard so many good things about this. Yeah, there are eight stories that map the realities of women's lives and the violence visited upon their bodies. I have no idea. I don't think I've ever read a book that's like a collection of short stories before, so this will be totally new for me and I think it'll kind of give me a feel for her writing and maybe I will want to read her memoir later on. The next one is The Astonishing Color of After by Emily X. R. Pan. This is highly recommended by Hannah from A Clockwork Reader, and we have very different book tastes. I've read some other books that she's recommended, and they're just not for me. They're more like magical and fantasy, and I'm just not into that kind of stuff. I read The Night Circus because she, that's like her favorite book. And it wasn't my, I was honestly confused like the whole time I read that book. So maybe that's why I'm not a huge fan. But um, I think this deals with suicide. I think the main character's mom had recently committed suicide and she travels back to her mom's like home country of Taiwan and like tries to rekindle things with her mom's family and like try and learn more about her. She says it's beautiful, it makes her cry, it deals with loss and family and grief in a really beautiful way, so I'm really excited for this one. I have really high hopes. I've only seen good things about this book, so yeah. Wait, I literally haven't opened this copy, so I get most of my books like from online used stores, you know? Is this literally signed by her? It says EXRP. I guess I got a signed copy, y'all. <laughs> what the heck? I've never, I haven't opened this book yet. That's really interesting. So that's cool. And it's like beautiful and I'm really excited for that one. That was a fun little surprise. Okay. Um, next is The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. I think that Reagan talked about this one. What This is Witty, Romantic, and Irresistible. Um, I think it's like an escapade of Monty. I think it's like a adventure story where he is with his best friend and secret crush Percy and they travel through 18th century Europe. I, I don't know. 
it's pretty long. I don't know when I'm gonna get to this book, but it also looks like a really fast read. But I think it's just like cute and witty and like a fun little story. So I have this one. I have talked about that book before and I've also talked about this book before. This is Punching the Air by Evie Zoboy and Yusuf Salam. So this is actually a book in verse, which I didn't really know about when I bought it. Also never read a book that's in verse before but this is kind of a fictional story about um a black boy who was falsely accused of a crime and like put in jail maybe which yusuf salam one of the authors he is part of the exonerated five who like lived that in real life and was one of the central park five that was wrongly accused of a murder and put in jail for a very long time until they were proven innocent i have actually no idea what to expect because I've never read a book like this like I just it looks very different from anything I've ever read before um, I honestly might pick this book up next because I'm very intrigued and I know it's gonna be a really difficult read but one that is very in tune with like our world right now so and look how beautiful it is Wow um who talks about this one I believe I think Haley and Bookland talks about this one so Next is Challenger Deep by Neil Shusterman. I, more than anything, have heard the most about this author. I can't remember what else he wrote, but like people talk about him all the time. And I think this has to deal with mental illness. I watched, I can't remember which YouTuber it is, but she had like a bookshelf tour and she had this whole section on mental health. And so the next two books I got from like that part of her video. I think this has to do with a teen who is struggling. It might be bipolar. I'm really excited for it. it. Seems like a quick little read. I've just heard so much about this author so I'm really excited to give him a shot and read this book. Next one also from that bookshelf tour video that I watched. This is Let's Call a Doomsday by Katie Henry which this cover is just so cute. I think this deals with two friends in high school and I think they're both dealing with their own mental health issues if I'm not mistaken. It's about Hannah and Ellis and they meet in a therapist's waiting room and they become friends and I think one of them is worried about the end of the world so honestly I just love the cover a lot too and I am trying to read more like mental health books because they're like becoming my favorite recently i just made a video on like mental health recommendations so i'm really eager to get into these two the last one is ready player one by ernest klein this has been on my tbr list for the longest time who talked about this noelle gallagher talked about this and i'm obsessed with her and I believe that this is kind of like a sci-fi, which is very out of my comfort zone. Don't love sci-fi, but I have just heard too many things about this. The back it says, delightful, the grown-ups Harry Potter. Okay, it takes place in the year 2044. It's in like a really crappy world, which you can kind of tell from the cover. But yeah, I've just heard so much about this book and I thought I would give it a go. I am nervous because this reminds me of an incredibly remarkable thing is that what it's called all an absolutely remarkable thing by hank green which that one was kind of sci-fi and recommended a lot and i hated it so <laughs> i'm kind of nervous for this one i just hope it lives up to the hype but yeah that oh my god sci-fi is just tricky for me i don't know but yeah that is the last one i also ordered things in jars but that has not come in yet but that was also recommended by reagan and it's like magical. I don't know, it looked really fun. So I got it for the fall time, but that has not come in the mail yet. So that is my video, kind of random, but I just have all these new books that have been coming in the mail and I really wanted to talk about them and they were all recommended from different booktubers. So we'll see if they're worth the hype and I'll let you guys know, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.